one of the things I thought about was that many of us have gone through situations and circumstances that have blurred our vision and changed our perspective on what is real. And I, I thought, you know, when I remember uh, watching somebody who had the glasses were broken and they were trying to like play basketball. And as they were trying to play basketball, the problem is they couldn't catch, they couldn't receive right because they couldn't see right. And so when the ball was going to the left or to the right, they just they couldn't make the adjustments because when your lens is broken, it's hard to receive something that's being tossed to you, something that's being given to you. And that's what happens with us. When our lenses are broken, we can't receive. Well, guess what? If I can't receive the past, I can't pass the past. And so what happens in our lives is because of what we walk through. Maybe it's that divorce that you walk through. Maybe you were molested or abused. Maybe you walked through something heinous in your life. Maybe it was your third grade teacher that told you you would never amount to anything. Whatever you walked through, it became the lens by which you see the world. I love the way Stephen Covey says it in his book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. If you know me, I love leadership. And he says... We must look at the lenses. Through, uh, let me stop. It says we must look at the lenses through which we see the world as well as the world we see and that the lenses itself shape how we interpret the world. So our lens interprets how we see the world. And so if my lens is wrong, my perspective is wrong, my interpretation is wrong. As a matter of fact, a woman who may have been abused or a woman who may have been cheated on has a lens by which she sees the world or sees every relationship that she gets into next. Is he trying to get over on me? Is he trying to lie to me? Is he trying to trick me? Why? Because her change, the change in what happened to her or the change what she received becomes what she gives out and so every if somebody can mean the best somebody can mean the most good for that person but because of what I received this is what I give out and I begin treating you like you're the person who did it to me and it's crazy when you, when you think about this whole thought of lenses because my whole world get, begins to look through this lens. I'm just going to talk for a moment. It's like an African-American male who watches too much TV and ends up seeing some of the atrocities that take place in our neighborhoods. They can take this thought that all people are like this or people that are different than me are like that. Why? Because or maybe you've experienced something like that yourself and now everybody that looks like the person on the other end of the thing that you walk through is the same as the person who did the thing to you. And you can miss out on a blessing because your perspective is wrong. The person that may be coming to you that is different could be the very one holding your destiny. But because your perspective is jacked up, you can't even see it. We live in a broken Society, where everybody has a broken lens in some shape, form, or fashion. So therefore, you can feel good about yourself. You thought you were the only one with a broken lens. No, everybody has a broken lens. And guess what? Some people are better at hiding their lens. They come across very confident or very cocky in themselves. Do you know that that pride is really just a shield because they don't want you to know what's really wrong with them? And... The word broken means not functioning properly, out of working order, ruptured, torn, fractured. The synonyms that jump out at me are injured, crippled, damaged, defeated, overwhelmed, hurt. And so the lens that we sometimes see our lives and sometimes see God is through a broken, overwhelmed, hurt, and damaged perspective. 